again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 8th of February 2019. Article posted on February the 8th by CNN, written by Jack Guy, G Y. America Airlines pilot arrested just before transatlantic takeoff. An American Airlines pilot has been arrested on suspicion of being drunk a few minutes before he was scheduled to take off from UK's Manchester Airport. Officers were called shortly before 11 a.m. on Thursday after receiving a report that a pilot may have been under the influence of alcohol, according to a statement from Greater Manchester Police. A 62-year-old man was arrested and has been bailed pending further inquiries, police said. Just don't know if you're aware of this, but uh, pilots that are over 60 can't fly across the ocean unless they have a pilot with them that's under the age of 60. That all came about. Pilots used to be required to retire at the age of 60. They extended to 65 with that provision that I just made you aware of. The unnamed pilot was due to fly from Manchester to Philadelphia at 11.05 a.m. local time. But flight AA735 was cancelled in the wake of the arrest according to UK Press Association news agency. CNN has contacted American Airlines for comment. What do you expect them to say, huh? Pilots are allowed to have up to 20 milligrams of alcohol per 100 milliliters of blood in their body. Drivers in England, Wales, and Northern Ireland are allowed as much as 80 milligrams. The arrest is the latest in a string of incidents involving pilots and alcohol. In November, a Japanese pilot found to be more than nine times over the legal alcohol limit before a scheduled flight from London to Heathrow was sentenced to 10 months in UK prison. Katushi Jakukawa, 42, an employee of flag carrier Japan Airlines, was scheduled to fly from Heathrow to Tokyo on October 28th but failed a breath test shortly before takeoff. Reacting to the sentencing, Inspector of Aviation Policing Lane Globe condemned the serious offenses that could have had catastrophic consequences. This conviction reflects he displayed not only total disregard for the safety of all the passengers and staff on his flight, but also the wider public, Goebel said. In late October, Al Nippon Airways said sorry after a pilot fell ill following a night of heavy drinking and caused delays to five domestic flights. And in June, experienced British Airway pilot Julian Monaghan was jailed for eight months after he was found to be more than four times over the alcohol limit before a flight from London Gatewick to Marietas. You know, I uh, did number of videos on this topic maybe four or five years ago they were taken down by the boob team a YouTube team and uh, I talked about 60 minutes and what they did they did an investigation they went ahead and took a look at uh, DUIs of transport pilots and guess what they found a number of them that did have DUIs weren't allowed to drive their vehicles, but were flying across the ocean. One uh, pilot uh, out of, I believe, uh, Montreal had his wife drive him to the airport in his Rolls Royce, and he would fly a 747 to Europe. Well, after that explosive expose, they now tie your driver's license to your pilot's license. So if I were to get a DUI driving, it's automatically put on my pilot's license as well, which is how it should be. These people that drink and fly are totally insane. Because again, they don't just put their lives in danger and the people on the airplane, but how about all the people on the ground if they crash into a major city? I hope they never fly again. I'm certain this 62-year-old with American will never fly again.
at the controls. We'll see. I'll attach the link. You look at it. You might want to repost this in all your social media accounts. You might want to pass it along to your like-minded friends. Ask them to do the same. Thanks for listening.